Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Now with most things we own in life, they tend to get broken, battered, too old or out of date. The world moves on and climbing companies create new bits of equipment that are upgraded. This is my old Petzl Meteor 3. I've got a lot of respect for this thing. I love it. It was, it was the first bit of expensive equipment that I bought. I used to use older, heavier, non-ventilated helmets. And when I got this, it changed everything. From trad climbing to alpine climbing, this was special for me. It's broken though. It's got cracks in the helmet there and there, and it's all just a bit old and knackered, and I don't really trust it on my head anymore. Luckily, there's a new king in town. It's time for the reign of the Petzl Meteor 4. So this is it. New design, new colors, new protection standards. Now I just call it the Petzl Meteor 4 because that makes sense because this is the Petzl Meteor 3, but Petzl are just calling it the Meteor. So from now on, this is the Meteor. Now I first bought my old Petzl Meteor about seven or eight years ago, something like that. And back then they didn't have the ultra, ultra light helmets. Think the Petzl Scirocco. This and the BD Vapor were kind of the only lightweight uh, helmets on the market to that sort of standard. It's 240 grams. It featured lots of venting to keep you nice and cool. And it was a real step up in helmet design. Now coming from an older, heavier, non-vented helmet like I did, these vents made such a difference. And anyone who's ever walked around on a glacier in the middle of an alpine summer knows that the more air you can get through your head, the more you'll avoid boiling alive in your helmet. This was a big step up for me. Now with the new Petzl Meteor 4, it does bring different features to the table. So today we're gonna discuss the new helmet and work out whether it's worth an upgrade and you should sell your old helmet. So with the two helmets side by side, there's some obvious styling differences. Gone is the two-tone color system of the old one with this shiny finish. Now there's a matte finish with only two colors on a helmet separated into blocks. There's a gray, there's a sort of purple, and there's an orange, with the orange looking most like the new Scirocco. Now, personally, I quite like the old design. I thought this was kind of funky, and me being me, I like the blue. But I've got to say, the new models, it does look a bit more professional. Somehow just a bit sleeker and, well, just better. Now the vents have been tweaked on the new model. With the older model, the vents were more backwards, which gave it quite a sleek look that was nice, whereas the new, the new ones are more blocky, but wider, which gives better ventilation. There's also more of them. There's eight on the side of the new Meteor compared to five on the old model. And at the back, there's seven vents compared to five again on the old model. So more venting, more breathability, and a totally different look to the helmet. Now these new vents allow Petzl a chance to save some weight. They've added a lot of features to this new helmet and more features usually means an increase in weight. But by having more vents and making them larger, that means they can cut away sections of the helmet and keep the weight at the same level as the old ones, so around about 240 grams. So what are these extra features? Well, you may notice that the helmet has been beefed up and extended on the side and the rear. This is to protect the climber from side impact. So for example, if you get hit by a rock on the side or those weird kind of accidents where you fall off a route, let's say it's a trad or a sport climb, and you hit the side of your head in an awkward fall, this now protects for that. Now, most helmets don't use uh, that kind of rating system for the side impact. For example, the UIAA standards, they protect for direct impact onto the top and impact for a 65 degree angle. Now, Petzl have stepped it up a bit and they've managed to get their helmet to be protected fully from the side. So they've taken the standard regulation and gone up a bit. Now the helmet itself is EPS foam injected inside of a polycarbonate shell and that kind of technology is what keeps it strong and light. And that now extends all the way to the edge of the helmet. So you know wherever you get hit or you fall, you're protected. The top has been lowered and squatted down a bit on the climber's head, which personally I think is a good thing. The old model had a sort of way of sitting up quite high. It looked a bit geeky, a bit weird, a bit sort of unbalanced. I like the new feel and look of the new helmet. 
Often when we're climbing, you need to attach a head torch to your helmet. And anyone who's done a 2 a.m. alpine start will know this to be true. The old model had quite a simple system. There were clips on the back and the front that you secured the uh, elastic headband thing of your head torch into. Now this worked really well, it was simple, it was a little bit fiddly because of the size of the clips, especially when you've got cold hands or your hands are in gloves at the start of the day. The new system has bigger clips at the front and uses a different style of system at the back, this sort of elastic cord that you hook over the band of the head torch. I'm not sure about this, I'm not 100% convinced. I quite like the old system, it was just simple. Whereas I have a feeling this string might get a bit frayed or broken, and if that breaks, it's gonna be really, really difficult to replace it. So it might work perfectly, but I need to put it to the test more. What this string does allow you to do is attach ski goggles to the helmet. And talking about goggles, the front has been modified so you can attach a visor if you want. And there's third company parties making that visor, which is going to be perfect for dry tooling. Now talking about skiing, you can use this helmet for skiing. In fact, it's CE certified for ski touring. So you can go up, you can go down, you can faff around in it, but it's worth remembering that it's not certified for alpine skiing. So where that becomes an issue is if you wanna to go to competitions. You know those ones where they skin up a mountain, ski down the mountain, run around for ages. You can't use the helmet for that. But for most of us, people like you and me, we can use this when we go out into the mountains with skis on our feet. Now the back straps within the helmet have been beefed up and changed. It's now much easier to adjust the helmet, especially if you're wearing gloves, and it sits slightly lower down on the back of your head. So the whole helmet is pulled into the correct position, and it certainly feels better than the old model. Okay, so that's it. That's the new Meteor, that's the features. But should you upgrade? Now firstly, I really like the direction that Petzl is going. Any company that takes a safety standard and goes way beyond it is doing the right thing in my opinion. In fact, they're so advanced that some of the safety and rating and all those certificate things haven't even caught up with this new style of helmet that does everything. So big kudos to Petzl for that one. I like the new styling. I like the new features. I think it's cool. The elastic band thing, pff, who knows, but I'll be able to see in the future. The new safety thing is fantastic. That lower profile on the back and the side, that does make a big difference. And I know so many people, including myself actually, who's been hit by rocks. And to know that you're protected everywhere on your head really does make a difference, especially to your confidence. So, would I sell or get rid of my old helmet for this? No, I wouldn't. And it's not because this isn't any good, it's just because it's a helmet at the end of the day. Just wear the thing. At some point it's going to get broken as mine has and then you're going to need to step it up. I don't think the new upgrades are so ridiculously good that you just have to get rid of your old model. But if you're in the market for a lightweight helmet, then I really do think this new Meteor is the one or certainly one of the ones. They've sort of stolen a march on other brands. It'll be very interesting to see how people like Black Diamond, Camp, all those guys and Gravel, how they step up to meet the standards of this new helmet. So I will be wearing this out and about, especially because mine is now broken and knackered and frankly quite dangerous. So it's gonna be interesting to see how I get on with this new Meteor. I'm fully a Petzl fan, I'll be sticking with this model and I'll let you guys know how I get on with it. So that's it for today, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.